I'm going to fucking kill myself. It's been a it's been a while since that happened. Yeah. We just recorded 45 minutes with one microphone working. With one with just my microphone working. Yeah. Oh my god. So this is us doing it again. We apologize <laughs> if we I'm not even going to say it actually. I don't apologize. Shit happens sometimes. I'm not going to let it bother me. Yeah. It is past midnight, and we do have to record two episodes. <laughs> yeah. But hey, this is the life we live. Um, I feel like, I don't know. I, we, you know, our whole thing is just going, just doing and yeah. saying. We were talking about the Drake thing in the beginning. I don't know if you want to do that again. No. Okay. I honestly, yeah, what do we do? Because it's unusable. It's unusable. Yeah. Because that camera doesn't pick up audio. Well. Unless you're holding. There's too much noise. Too much noise. My mic. It did. It's, it's literally yeah. gone. It's so funny. The Mr. Beast thing was awesome. The Mr. Beast. Oh man. Yeah. The well. Mis- whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Hmm. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So, uh, hey everyone, welcome to the Energy Drink Corner. Welcome to the Energy Drink Corner. We just had a sip of uh, Revel. Revel. Uh, this is from Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. Jacob, you, I'll be honest. You sent this to us a while ago. Yeah, it's just been sitting in the fridge. It, it kind of got pushed to the back of the fridge, and and you know we got energy drinks that we're excited about yeah. that look good. This looks like some kind of alcohol that you would give at a quinceanera. It's just you know we. I apologize, Jacob. I yeah. apologize. That's on me. Uh oh! It tasted me taking. I, I don't like it. It's, it tastes like and, and I and I realize how stupid this sounds. It tastes like chemicals. <laughs> I drink energy drinks, dude. Yeah, every day it, it tastes, tastes so much like it's in a can. It's insane. It's, it's so incredibly in a can. It's the most aluminium shit yeah. I've ever had in my life. But it's not disgusting. It's just very tinny. Yeah, it's like not very old, good. Old really t- it has green coffee bean. Let's Which see. Just it's Revel fun. Energy Drink, pineapple flavored. The can says it's not just an energy drink; it's a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And it says Revel Energy Drink is a New Orleans company providing a new kind of energy drink. They say energy drink twice in one sentence, which it's I don't really like. Really strange. Our goal is to create a great experience at the first taste. Drink Revel and enjoy. <laughs> and you think after they failed. Doing rental scooters in New York City, they wouldn't make energy drinks. Yeah, but no, they're yeah, like, they no, are. no, we're gonna go for Teslas and energy drinks, and you're like, fine, hey, yeah, fuck freak it. what you feel. Yeah, um, two point five. What did I say? Two point two five. Two point two five. Yeah, because it's not disgusting. It's not disgusting, but I, if I saw it, I would never buy it again. I'd put two of those with it. Go, that doesn't taste very good. It's not great. This is but not... I'm really thankful for Jacob. Yeah, I, I don't want. When people send us energy drinks, you don't have to send us good energy drinks. You don't have to send us anything. You know, it's not, you're not no. beholden to sending us anything. I'll behold the hell out of you, if you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, Jacob. I'm well, from behind. I'm Big Spoon, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we don't live in New Orleans. I'm not getting this anytime soon. And if no. I am in New Orleans, I'm not paying to check a bag to bring it back with me. Absolutely not. It'd be so funny to be like, oh, I got to buy it. Are you empty it at the airport? And I just bring the empty can back. Like, why'd you bring me this? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, you know, like cats bring like dead birds to their owners. Yeah. Oh, I brought you a present. <laughs> this trash, man. Why'd you bring me trash from New Orleans? Dude, I drank a full sugar soda recently. Oh. Really crazy. Why? I, I wanted to. I, I, that's, a good, that's a good enough reason to me. I, I, I was celebrating to. a small milestone. That's fantastic. Yeah. Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I saw two chicks in the, uh, on the <laughs> same day. I was on the train and I saw two women and I went, holy shit. Holy cunt, it's two and, uh, broads. I fucking just pointed at those whores. That's fantastic. Yeah, so if you send us anything, don't attach our v- review of it to yeah. who you are as a person. You're, you're perfect for sending. You're perfect and we love you. Yeah, for sending us that. And that's it, really. Yeah, that's kind of all we have to say about that. Yeah. Um. Have you noticed that... <laughs> I'm just trying to redo some of the jokes we did. I love already. that. I you're the one that have a hard that has a hard time with with. Uh, okay, no, being, anything repeating. Come. So I'm like, hey, you, yeah, you, no. are you working okay with repeating? No, no, no. It's new. We're living in New York. We live in beautiful New York City. New York City. It's correct. It's hot out now. Yes. It's fucking really hot out. It got really like uh, it got. It's not it, like it's not unbearable. It's not unbearable yet. But it I'm got, wearing it, short. It reminded it's, me it's, of it's it. shorts outside already. Mm-hmm. It quickly went from jacket or hoodie. To shorts, like there was not like a, there wasn't there's no more 
There's two seasons. There's two. It's hot and it's cold, mm-hmm. which is, you know, fine. I, I don't want... Man, it sucks living at, like, the worst part of the planet. In terms of, like, we're on, like, a dying... Oh, worse so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crumbling. Yeah, it's going to get worse. Yeah, it's going to get real bad. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there was a point... When do you think people were like, it's only getting better? Oh, Industrial Reagan? Revolution? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, like, everything's getting better. Huh. I guess it's like point. black and white TV becomes color. You get cable. Internet comes out. I guess when, after... Because it's the thing of like, okay, before World War One, there was... World War Two or World War, well, before World War Two, there was World War One. Yeah, the Great Depression. Yeah, so post Great Depression, smallpox. Yeah, Vietnam War. <laughs> yeah, it kind of everything was always there's good. always something happening. There has to have been nineties. I feel like the Clinton years were America's. As long as you didn't live in like a country that we were secretly like, you didn't live in like Kuwait or no, something no, no, like that. We're America. We're not. I'm not talking about any other country yeah, ever. That's true. America. Because post Desert Storm, mm-hmm. pre 9 11, the only good sweet time, spot. the only good time in American history. Because we were alive for it. Because we were alive for it, and yeah. like, okay, maybe, let's say the nothing was like like the economy post Vietnam, but even then, the civil rights era, like, there's a lot of shit happening over there. Yeah, like eight, like no, because there was the Cold War too. We were always oh, kind of worried about that. Cold War. You're always kind of worried People about were shitting in their pants to the Cold War. Yeah, you gotta you had to do, go into the desk. What not? Duck and cover. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, are you a are you a, are you are you a sexy communist? Are you a sexy communist? You're an unsexy communist. Even yeah. worse. Yeah. Are you a sexy communist who's starring in an episode of Columbo that I'm watching? Ooh. But it's hot out now. And I've noticed that there are is now hot enough out where really attractive women have started to dress like they sell bottles of water on the side of the highway. Uh huh. They all wear. They wear wife beaters. What? Yeah, I'm listening. They wear wife beaters. They wear big gym shorts. <laughs> this so, is just a specific uniform for a lady. It's really crazy. It's, it's really insane. crazy that they're like, gotta wear this. Because it's like, I understand if you wore like athletic shorts. Yeah. But they were little. Yeah, big shorts. Big shorts is like, but you're not doing it in like a butch way. They're not like, hey, I'm, hey, just so you know, I'm wearing these in a Subaru kind yeah. of way. Yeah. Mm mm. It's that we talked about her before. What the? I don't know. Where, I I gotta remember her name. The woman on TikTok that wears some of the worst fucking outfits. I fucking hate her, dude. Nah, I, don't hate her. I don't hate her. I don't hate her. I don't fucking every know time I see all. her outfit, it makes me sick to my stomach. Her I just want to throw up. Sick it makes me st- violently ill. This is this woman who always posts uh, fit uh, fit videos on Instagram when she's at the same subway stop and they're god off, yeah. like 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 a really? joke. I, it's really bad. Big. Like '90s red silky and one basketball shorts with like a crop top. Like they don't even feel good on your skin. They, uh, yeah. They, there's no way. She, there she wears them really low to the hips, or her underwear show. And because here's the thing with those shorts, those shorts should be worn underneath a pair of jeans, mm-hmm. and they're sticking out of the top of the jeans. Yeah. By a teenager. She's rolling up the the top like she's wearing Muay Thai shorts. Dude, yeah. It's just chaos, her outfits. It's really brutal. Again, She'll be I like, hey, her. I'm wearing no top and a an Inspector Gadget jacket yeah, and like, <laughs> with my like... nipples on it. And then the wind from the train is kind of blowing it around in a, su- a suggestive way. The, the the annoying portion of f- high, I'll say high fashion, of fashion yeah. social media is like, people forget, and I've said this before, people are... Uh, behave in the way that's reinforced. If they wear something insane looking, yeah. people will feel like they're forced to say something. Yeah. So they go, "Hey, I like your outfit." I've noticed <laughs> you're wearing something. You're you're making it impossible for me not to say something about what you're wearing. So this is thing. me being nice. I can't. I won't. Well, I what? would never say anything to her about it. I'd laugh. <laughs> yeah, I would never be like, "Hey, cool." Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd never be like, "Oh, I love it." Hey, I don't. Yeah. It just you. It's loud. Yeah. Hey, you don't look homeless. <laughs> hey, by the way, I don't, no one thinks you look like a homeless person. Hey, it looks like you're falling apart. Yeah. Psychologically. I'm just waiting for hot girls, the new hot girl accessory of the season, to be a, a wet washcloth on top of their head. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what they should be. I think that's what <laughs> they should do. What's a piano playing comedian, Craig? Something. Uh, oh, Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson style. Yeah, 
Hot washcloth girl summer. There you go. I think that's what they have to do to complete the Hot, fit. Put it, it on top? Yeah, you, you go to a sexy girl at the bar, some like girl who just moved to Bushwick from like fucking South Dakota, <laughs> and she's like, hey, poppy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they immediately she get really that. tries to be, she really hey, tries poppy. to become Bushwick yeah. in that way. <laughs> You're like, whoa! She, she's like, why am I so hard? They're like, oh, you go, girl, you got to move to Bushwick, and she didn't realize that you aren't supposed to do that one. Yeah. Also, she's like, I'm trying to fit in. I'm trying Not to fit in Zara. with those guys. Yeah, she's like, where she has like a little uh, Puerto Rican flag. Yeah, that she's waving around <laughs> in the bar. She's wearing those Puerto Rican flag basketball jerseys that are Dude, the, the Puerto Rican flag and it has the the drawing of the little boy in the Puerto Rican do-rag yeah. on the jersey You're like Dude, what yeah. kind of mirror image reverse like yeah. insanity is this how okay what do you think is worse in terms of cultural appropriation if i wear i'm listening the Puerto Rican basketball jersey with the little boy drawing on it or if i wear the mesh tank top that's the colors of the Jamaican flag Ooh. Which one is it? Because it, you know, I'll, it's right now. It's the Jamaican one, and I'll tell you why. Because Puerto Rican cl- culture to white, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> in culture, people get more mad the further away from your culture you are. Yeah, because in, Puerto in the Rican, terms of a okay, I will say this: Puerto Rican and Italian. Oh, almost the same thing. Not, I wouldn't say 100% that. One hundred percent the same thing. I wouldn't say that. You have an affinity for knives. Okay, first of all. I would say that the decibel level of our cars uh-huh. is different. Is different? Fair? Fair. That's it. I was to say, Puerto Rico, that's the United States. People forget. Yeah. Not me. I'm bar- mad about it every day. Yeah, no. I go, <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me. Yeah, but it's almost like the the, the Family Guy uh, skin swatch meme. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, if you're here, this is as far as you can go. You yeah. go one over. Yeah. And white, and again, I'm saying as a Hispanic who is unbelievably white yeah you get to go one over to hispanic that's it yeah hispanic we get to go one over asian (laughs) (laughs) i don't even know if that makes any sense no no it's fun to say yeah it's fun to say i think it depends like you could do asian thank you and i will right now (gasps) and yeah but you couldn't do you couldn't be a hispanic guy that says the n-word no oh god no and i knew a lot of them yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of my family members... No, no. Yeah. But <laughs> a lot of guys I went to middle di- school with. But they different than you. I'd be standing next to them and watch them say it, and I'm like, huh, I'm not doing that. Hey. That's not, not okay for me. Interesting. And no one cares. No one cares. And no one here and cares. Especially because I didn't dress uh, yeah. like cool like that. Yeah. I dressed like a little skateboard, even though I never skateboarded. I just like... Yeah. I was like, oh, PacSun yeah, is more my thing. Yeah. So I definitely couldn't say it for that. Because no. those guys are like... Close to me in skin tone, but they had brown hair. Yeah. It's, you know, it's more brown than me. Yeah. You ever see it? Like, the, they don't have to be white, but I saw this. When, like, a person with straight hair, like a white person's style of hair. Okay. When they wear a do-rag. That looks like a little porcupine sticking yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, it really, that's like tryptophobia to me. Oh. Not really. I don't get grossed out, but I'm like, it's obviously you're not supposed to be doing this. It's not for you. It's so clear how you're not supposed to be doing that. No, it's pretty silly. Yeah. It's pretty silly and, ah, uh, I, I, it's a good bit, I'll be honest. A white person wearing a do-rag? It's a good bit I've talked. it's I, so silly. I have to have talked about it before where- we had to do a, in my class in sixth grade, I think, we had to do a report on a famous person not from America. Oh. Like, just anyone from history. That's right. Anyone cool. ever from history, not from America. And you're like, I got it, Elvis Presley. I, I think I did, I can't remember who I did. I either did Joseph Stalin or Winston Churchill. I don't know why, I don't, can't remember who. One of them, you know, just like, oh, wow, that's a yeah, quite famous you person. You opened the first chapter like that guy. Yeah. And there was a kid in my class, white kid, and he did a report on, you guessed it, Beanie Man. Oh. <laughs> Reggae singer, Reggae Beanie superstar. Man. And oh, because we had to dress up as the person and do like a presentation. That's, that's what such I forgot. A big caveat. That's that what I got, forgot. You got to say that first. He had to dress up as the person and do like a, a presentation. Like we were like, it's like, I'm Joseph Stalin. Bob, I'm Winston Churchill, whatever, you know? And he was like, I'm Beanie Man. And he did not He did not do blackface. But, but he did just wear a wife beater and a do-rag and sunglasses. All right. I'm and I don't really that. know if Beanie Man 
wore oh, yeah. a do rag. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I think he had dreadlocks, so it would kind of defeat the purpose defeat of wearing purpose. a do rag. Yeah, he should have gone to a fair and won a game. He should have. He should have. He should have won a big banana. A big rust. And then kind of done kind of surgery on a, yeah. a, a, the banana. Surgery on a grape. How about surgery on a rust banana? On a rust <laughs> banana, so I can get myself a new hat. <laughs> I was a new surgery hat. on a rasta banana. I'm doing surgery on a rasta banana, actually. Honey, our son's in his room again doing surgery on a rasta oh banana. Again. God damn it. That's like that's like the thing where it's like, you know, you have to do the checklist to, if you're like a child is going to become a serial killer, maybe. Yeah. If he, if he, Piss it, the bed, kill animals. animals surgery on a rasta banana. The surgery on a rasta banana. It's a bad sign. Yeah. Keep it, watch out for your kids. Yeah. Speaking of Hispanic people. Some of my favorite. Yes. Some of my favorite kinds of people. They're top 15 Top race. 20, 30 races for me, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. J-Lo had to cancel J-Lo. Her. Our, oh. Yeah. I'm D-Lo. You are D-Lo. D-Lo. Yeah. Are you guys related? Maybe. Because she's Puerto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. I'm and, Colombian. And you're close enough. That's two things. Yeah. <laughs> She had to cancel some tours. She had to cancel her tour because really stadium tours. I think it was a stadium tour. Like no, I think it was like a, I think it was like a Jennifer Lopez like anniversary tour. Oh wow! But do you think like someone like her can't go back? Like there's bands. Oh, her and ego other, is huge. She can't go back. She could not do like a theater. No, she no. couldn't do like like she would have to do Madison Square Garden. She couldn't do like Forest Hills. No, she would rather die. And Forest Hills, I guess, is a stadium, but I think it's a different capacity. Like I think it's smaller. Theater stadium. It's yeah. Weird. Uh, like a Hollywood Bowl style Yeah, exactly. Thing. No, I read a whole Twitter thread about how much of a piece of shit she is to people. Yeah. Awesome. And this one woman who worked at like a uh, like a private airport, what are they called? Like where, where celebrities land. A private airport. That's you had it right say. the first time. Yeah, right. Um, how she like was furious they didn't have a certain thing there and like made her go get it and while she was like rushing around to buy it on her way back she could see the plane taking off and leaving anyway. So funny. Whole thing. Celebrities are, are they're terrible people. Yeah. They become terrible people because they are um, imbued with this sort of like royalty. This like, yeah. oh my God, whatever you people say. don't say no to them. People don't say, you got to have someone that says no to you. Yeah. But. But I wanted to ask you this yesterday and then I decided that I would not have friendship in reality and no. I would withhold friendship to do it on the podcast. Good. But. Do you think Jennifer Lopez has ever been good in anything? <laughs> right. Because uh, I don't think so. I, I think my, because it's, here's the thing, because it's like, we're kind of her target demographic. Yes. You're Hispanic. Number one. My sexuality is questionable at best. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an interesting sexuality. She has a whole section for guys like us in her concerts. Yeah. <laughs> The fucking bathroom. <laughs> Tapping our feet under the stall. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this song is good. This song is good. Can you hand me a I'm, job? Yeah. Could you hand me a job? Could you hand could you spare could you hand a brother a job? Could you give me some employment with your palm? Some guy and, and palm some guy, employment is sick. And some guy's like, what? And you're like, hey brother, <laughs> jack me off. We're at the J Lo concert together. <laughs> Sticking my dick under a stall is really funny. <laughs> um let me look at her like I don't care for waiting music for at tonight. all. Whoa. You, you, you don't care about waiting for tonight or Jenny from the block? No, Jenny from the block. It's I'll like, give you waiting for tonight. Jennifer the block waiting for tonight is like sucks. fine. It's fine. If I hear it at the grocery store, I'm like, why is they playing dance music at the grocery yeah. store? I thought Selena was her first mu- movie. Yeah, it's not. I think she's whatever in Selena. I honestly, I haven't seen Selena since they would play it on VH1 with commercials all the time. Mm-hmm. So I can't even tell you if it's good or bad. Anaconda is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It's really fucking bad. John Voight doing like a... Cajun accent? Cajun... Also, fuck, you know our stance. Fuck John fuck. Voight. I'll say it once. I'll say it a thousand times. Fuck, fuck John you, Voight. John Voight. Dumb you know piece what you did to shit, Angelina. Bitch. Um, and you know what you did to Micah Diego. Mm-hmm. Rude to us. You <laughs> looked at me in an interesting way that I didn't like. <laughs> We're better time. than you are. Why do you live in Williamsburg? It's so strange. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. That's like... Why are you an old... It's like Clint Eastwood living on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. It's really strange. Um, hey, okay. I, hey, how you doing? I'm Al Pacino, and I live in Dimes Square. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck uh, out of here. It's not for you here. It's not, it's not for you. Why are you here, you fuck? Okay. 
All of her movies suck, except I have to give her Out of Sight. Okay. Out of Sight actually fucking rocks. Of, what, is it Out of Mind? No, it's it's very in mind. Mm. It's um, mm. it's George Clooney, Jennifer Lopez, Don Cheadle, Ving Rhames. It's fucking good. Do you think Ving is short for anything? Oh, uh, Ving, Ving, Vincent. Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's really funny. <laughs> but out of sight, it's very, it very much feels like um, like a almost like a prequel to Ocean's Eleven. Like and that the George way Clooney's in it. George Clooney's in it. He's a little criminal. There's a lot of similar shots and and pacing. Jennifer Lopez is eating the entire time. She's eating the entire time, just like Rusty. Yeah. But that movie's very good. They really have chemistry. They have, like, palpable chemistry in that movie. Racially ambiguous sexual chemistry. Racially ambiguous sexual chemistry. And I'll be honest with you, her race is not that ambiguous. No, it's quite defined. She, his is. Clooney. Hey, what is he? Greek? I think he's just white in a... In, a, in, a, in an olive way. In an olive way. He's... he's uh, some sort of Mediterranean, but not culturally. Yeah, it's very interesting. He's very, he's, I mean, it's stupid to say, he's very handsome. Yeah, George Clooney, I guess. If you like, um, if you like guys like that. If you like, <laughs> if you like guys like that. Like good looking guys, I guess. <clears throat> George but out of sight Clooney. and the cell. And the cell, I'm okay with. I'm not going to say it's awesome. Out of sight, fucking rocks. I'll give that, I'll say that day and night. George and Clooney is weird. Irish, German, and English. Yeah, right. Yeah, no yeah, fucking okay. way. You just stacked He looks like a he looks like a Hispanic politician. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he's he's gonna do a lot of talks with his sleeve rolled up yeah. and no tie. He's like he he always brings up Cesar Chavez. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's crazy. His mom was a beauty queen. Oh. And his father, a beauty king. Yeah. He's related to uh, Nancy Lincoln. What? He's re- he is half first cousins five times removed of President Abraham Lincoln. Holy shit! Yeah, that's crazy. Five times removed. If you could be related to any celebrity or anybody in the past, if I could be related like that far, where there's no monetary gain, ah. there's nothing. You get nothing out of it. It's just a funny little uh. You know, Party trick, like you know, quip. yeah, George Burns. He has the big cigar. That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> I Apparently like that he a had a gigantic penis. Oh, that's like that was like a like he would be on roasts all the time. I'm th- I think you're thinking of um. Nope, I'm thinking of George Burns' giant penis. I think there's unless there's two of the the guys of that era who did roast and one had a giant penis. It's a different. I, I think you're thinking of a different comedian. George Burns definitely had the cigar thing. I think the big penis guy is a different George comedian. George Burns' big penis. <laughs> I'm going to look up ro- old roast comic with a big penis. I'm, I'm 99% sure. Oh, Milton Burl. Milton Burl has Milton a big Burl penis. Milton Burl had a big penis. I got a whole list in my head. <laughs> oh, and he always had a cigar, too. I want to be related oh, to Milton Burl. Milton Burl, there you go. Today I learned Milton Burl, considered America's first TV star, had a oh. massive penis. Wow. In his autobiography, Burl tells of a man who accosted him in a steam bath and challenged him to a cock off to compare sizes, leading a bystander to remark, "Go ahead, Milton, just take out enough to win." <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! What a line! Take out enough to win. Take just take out enough to win. Jesus. That's a, a lot of pressure to walk around with. Yeah. That's like how like, really famous fighters get like challenged to fights all the time. Like Sylvester Stallone talked about how when he did Rocky, people kept trying to fight him. He goes, I'm an actor. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you trying to fight me? Having cock-offs on steam rooms. Gary Cooper was called the Montana Mule. Now I'm on a, a thing that says, who had the biggest prick in Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fun. Okay, you'd be related to Milton Berle. Yeah. That's pretty good. Apparently- I would be related to Rasputin. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's interesting. pretty cool. Hard to kill, big, and another guy with a big fucking piece. Yeah, for apparently Frank Sinatra had a fucking piece on him too. Oh, it says old big eyes. Lana Turner warned Ava Gardner that quote: "There isn't a woman in Hollywood who hasn't cried on his cock." Jesus. Gardner herself once quipped that Frank may have been all of 120 pounds, but there's 10 pounds of Frank and 110 pounds of cock. <laughs> 
Jesus. Hey, good for him. Yeah. I don't think size is that big of a deal. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Jennifer Lopez is good in Out yeah. of Sight. And The Cell. And The Cell is a weird movie that it, it's... Is it worth watching? I think it's worth watching. I think it's weird. It's kind of beautiful. I would watch The Cell. Um, Vincent D'Onofrio is the villain? I like Vinny D. And it's like a weird cerebral like mind prison thing where they're like... They, they, again, I watched the movie like fucking 20 years ago. Yeah. They have to... He, She has to get put into his subconscious... Oh, being John Malkovich. To find out where a little girl is, like, lo- like being kept. Yeah. He's, like, in a coma, I think, what it, what it is. Interesting. And they have technology that puts you in, and it's just chaos. But it's, like, really cool costume design because, like, it's in an evil person's subconscious. Yeah. Um. So they're being John Malkovich. It's being John Malkovich. Which is awesome. Which is a good movie. Which is so sick that someone gave John Malkovich that script very, like, years before it was made. Yeah. And John Malkovich was like, hey... I love this script, but make it about someone else. And Charlie Kaufman's like, no. No. I'll rather, I'd rather walk away. It's you or nothing, it's John. It's you or nothing. And John it doesn't work like, with Dude. It doesn't work with anyone else. It doesn't work with anyone else. It's so funny. Yeah. It's so funny for Charlie Kaufman to be like, I don't give a fuck. I'll walk away. Yeah. It's pretty sick. I'm trying to think. Being Steve's on. Huh. I'd watch that, but have a very different tone. No, it would suck. Have a very different tone. Who else? Being Steve's on. Being uh, Isabella Hubert is the only. Is, would yeah, be good. being John Leguizamo. <laughs> okay, that's probably being. Bad. Oh, I would do it. Oh, who would you be? Ooh, who would you want to be? I'd being wanna... Monica Bellucci. <laughs> yeah, whoever a woman like to a... look at naked. Yeah. Um. No, I would want to be whoever. I'd be who, who being Vincent to? Cassell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would do being Vincent Cassell so I could fuck Monica Bellucci. It's very good. Fucking mm. thirty-five years ago or whatever. Yeah, you had to make a lot of caveats. Yeah, on being that one. Vincent Cassell thirty-five <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I'll do that. <clears throat> hmm. Who would I want to be? I don't know. Being Warren Buffett. I'd be Mark Wahlberg, but I would be on the flights. Yeah. I would. I'd be, I'd make I'd, my I'd get a, I would get a. <laughs> I'd make my Dude, I would be Mark Wahlberg and I would get on Instagram live just being like, hey, what's up? <laughs> hail Satan, brother. <laughs> hey, these shoes suck dick and hail Satan. Anyway, I got to go. All this clothes <laughs> belongs in the municipal trash. Dude. Oh, uh, bitch. God is yeah. dumb. You're yeah. all stupid. This is some municipal waste. <laughs> Wake up at 11 p.m. I yeah. Don't fuck. <laughs> yeah, I woke up at, I woke, hey, I, I put on blackout curtains and I woke up at 2 p.m. and I just ate a bunch of hamburgers today. Anyway, God is dead and Satan has <laughs> controlled the earth. <laughs> Peace out. Work Time to you. stay up till four in the morning playing video games. I want to play Fortnite with a bunch of prostitutes yep. who I will not call by their first name. No. I've, I've downloaded MLB The Show, and I'm going to figure that out for a while, and I'm going to eat a full pizza. Anyway, <laughs> Satan rocks. <laughs> but, 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 but for real, though, Satan is great. No, for sure. I I love Satan. I love Satan. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. That's so sick. Oh, I was going to say... Um, hey, I'm just I'm going to find the first Korean guy I see and give him a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> I owe him. Uh, yeah, just whoever. Filipino? What was it? I think it was Korean. I think Korean? I was right. All right. I'm going to go to hatecrimes.org and do yeah. some research. I do hate crimes. Excuse me? I hate crimes. Oh, yeah. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think hey, they suck. Got- <laughs> I love rules, and I hate crimes. I do hate crimes. You're not. You're, you're honor. Why wouldn't I do hate Why crimes? Why wouldn't I hate crimes? <laughs> oh, I was supposed, to- oh, I was supposed to love crimes? Sir, I hate them. For- First of all, thank you for your service. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, it seems that you've forgotten your uh, big powdery wig at home today, but I guess I'll still respect you. Anyway, I do hate crimes. Bailiff, I think they're bad. Looking good. Sexy bailiff, as you. Sexy oh, I didn't know we were bailiff. doing sexy bailiff cosplay today. Um, they start hitting me with a nightstick. They hit you with a nightstick. They hit you with a big book. Yeah, they really throw the book at me. Because mm-hmm. they want more out of you. Because they want more out of me. I'm doing the the money figures. Money, 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 money. Oh, I was gonna say. Speaking of money, so, uh, Craig Jones. Yes. Arguably the number two. 
Which is best grappler in the world. Which is arguably duty. Poo 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 poo. Number two is Dookie. So, okay, a little backstory. Uh, ADCC, <clears throat> the Abu Dhabi Combat Club, yes, is considered the uh, Olympics of grappling, even though there's grappling in the Olympics. Yeah, that's uh, so insane. <laughs> it's the most prestigious jiu-jitsu tournament. It's the big one. But they, like, if you win your bracket, if you win your division, you get paid $10,000, which is not bad. I'm not complaining about $10,000. I'd love to get paid $10,000. But for for being the best, like you're the best in the world, yeah, kind of low, right? Um, So Craig Jones was kind of annoyed with how little money there is in jiu-jitsu, annoyed with how little they're paying out for how much money they make. Can I ask this? Yeah. Do you know if he is related to Mike Jones, the rapper? I've already looked into this quite deeply. It took yeah. me, I, I sat down for hours. Yeah. No. Mm. Okay. The, Craig Jones is Australian. Oh. That's why. Mike Jones is from Texas. Texas. Yeah. Australia, Texas, far. Um. So, Craig Jones has decided to make his own tournament, the Craig Jones Invitational. It's happening soon. It's so funny. It's very sick. Uh, it's so funny that he's just like, yeah, it's me. Me. Um. For for just showing up, it's an invitation. You can't. I can't show up. For showing up to do the tournament, you get paid ten thousand and one dollars, which is a great, hilarious, a great bit. <gasps> to win is a million dollars. Huge. Yeah. He brought that money on the Joe Rogan experience. Cash. He dropped it on the big ugly desk that Joe has for some reason. I I know why he. I know what reason. No taste. No taste. No taste. It's a big deal. A lot of people are talking about it. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, numbers online pushing up and down. You know, it's good. It's good for the sport. Yeah. So, <clears throat> it it's a million dollars. Bo Nickel, one of the best grapplers in the UFC right now, he has asked if he can come join. Yeah. It'd be very. Do you funny. think Dana White? I think so. Dana White's let people. He'll let people do tournaments like grappling stuff. Yeah. He won't let them fist like MMA fights. Yeah. But but other because also Craig Jones was just in that whatever that tournament they had on UFC Fight Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So So, like he's not like a. a, a, It's not like he's like it's haram. Yeah, haram for the company. Yeah. Um, and so so the the another funny thing that Craig Jones did was. He made it the same weekend as ADCC, so you can't do both. It's, it's like one a pro or the wrestling other. thing. To yeah, do. truly like pro wrestling thing. You can't do both, one or the other. The day it was announced, uh, the Tackets, I think there's two of them, Andrew and something else, yeah. they're two of the best grapplers in the world, they they already qualified for ADCC. They backed out, and they, they signed up for, for the Craig Jones Invitational. A couple other guys have done that. Fiona Davis, she's like the number one female... Viola Davis. Viola Davis. She's a phenomenal actress. Yeah. Actor. Pardon me. And an amazing she Academy jiu-jitsu. Award winner. I believe so. Viola Davis. Um, and a couple other people are. are you know, she's an older sister. Oh, what is it? Violin Davis. There it is. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> named it for an instrument. Saxophone Davis is her cello. Fa- David, uh, cello Davis. Cello Davis. Double bass Davis. Ooh, he's he's big fella. Big guy. Big guy. He's got some problems. Um, Hard for him to walk. Craig Jones will be fighting Gabby Garcia at the event, which is so funny. He's talking about wanting to fight her for years, as a bit vaguely. Yeah, uh, but it's. I'll show you. <clears throat> Gabby Garcia what's is. It, what's the? Because I know in like training, it's not like weird. What's the like competition the... view on intergender grappling? Most. People are opposed to it. Yeah. I can't think off the top of my head any time it's actually happened. Yeah. Uh, that's Gabby Garcia. She's huge. Dude. She's six. Let me look. Actually, no. I'll give you an actual number. No. She's huge. She's a, a, a genuine steroid freak. Freak. Um, nine times Mundial, which is like world champion. Yeah. This is in Portuguese. Why am I reading this? Let me see. Gabby Garcia... Height and weight. <clears throat> She's six two. Jeez. Two hundred and nine pounds. I That's do not believe me. that. She's she's heavier than that. She's huge. So they're gonna be fighting. And Craig Jones is like, oh, I guess Craig Jones is around two hundred pounds too. But he's not six one or six two. Um 
but it's very funny. But I thought I was gonna say because Khabib, yeah, has been having a bunch of uh, allegedly tax issues with Russia. He owes he owes Russia some tax money. So funny. Um, allegedly, he should jump in. I think he would do very well. And uh, you a million dollars, like a million dollars, is that's so much crazy money. to win. Yeah, you know, like that, like winning a million dollars is crazy. I so, would, I would honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would love to win a million dollars. Yeah, it'd be awesome. I think that would be awesome for me, actually. And the other thing he did, which was very smart, and again, there has to be some kind of weird oil money backing this. There's no way it's not weird Saudi Arabian money. Which is extra weird because Abu Dhabi is Abu Dhabi. It's genuinely oil money. Yeah. But to to Evil. watch most um, like professional grappling tournaments, like the high-level gra- you have to watch them usually on what's called flowgrappling.com. Yeah. The Netflix of grappling. FLO. FLO. Like from Progressive. Mm-hmm. From Progressive. She she's a huge it. fan. She's a, she's a big proponent of the sport. She doesn't participate, but she just loves the stuff. She just loves she loves competition. Hey. And and we thank her for it. Um, Flow Grappling, notoriously a shitty website. Not like, I mean, I don't know. The people might be good or bad. I've heard some things. Yeah. But in terms of logistics, like it just doesn't work great. Yeah. Buggy. 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 Buggy choke. Bungie. CGI, Craig Jones, or say J.I., is going to be on uh, YouTube for free, which is great. I don't know how they're going to make any money off this. Ads. Ads, I guess, yeah. Sponsors. But like, sign, like, uh, what's the word? Like paying, like paying to watch is like one of the biggest monetary ways to gain monetary. (laughs) Yeah. But I'm excited. I'm gonna watch. I'm very what, excited. I'm when is it? So curious. Let me see actually exactly the date, because I'm 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 curious. September 11th. It's on September. It's the same day as ADC. Uh, ADCC. Craig Jones Invitational. Is there a character in something called Craig Jones? Is that his name in Friday? Craig, come on, Craig. I know his name is Craig. No, is Craig I don't Jones know. Jones in Friday. When is it? When is it? Friday, and I'll look up Friday movie. Man, it's so awesome that the guy who directed his name is F. Gary Gray. That's that's a so fucking sick. awesome name. Why? Are, why is it so hard to find the dates? For Craig things? Jones. That's who. That's Ice Cube in. Oh, I don't know. His last name was Jones. Yeah, Craig Jones. That's awesome. I would love to. I would love to do that. Craig Jones Invitational. Hmm. You get to watch him fight uh, Debo. Oh, that's true. It's the big main event. I love that. Yeah. Um, I'm a genius. August 16th and 17th. Finally, there it is. Yeah. There's two weight divisions, uh, over 80 kilograms and under 80 kilograms. Interesting. It's three people in the under, Andrew Tackett, Nikki Ryan, and Joseph Chen. Nikki Ryan and Joseph are both from the same team. Uh, yeah. Plus 80s, William Tack. That's his name. Luke Rockhold. Very interesting. Nicky Rod, Mason Fowler, and Roberto Jimenez. I don't know who Roberto Jimenez is. That's my um, alias. Mm. Jennifer Gardner. Jennifer Gardner's. Jennifer Gardner's. Um, But yeah, very interesting. Very excited. Eh, I'm excited. I'm not very excited. Yeah. I'm excited. But you mean, again, I think it's good for the sport. I think it's an Yeah. Key- the, the, the jiu-jitsu is doing very well. It's doing very well. A lot of people are doing jiu-jitsu. It, it, I always feel kind of like a, like a drug dealer with jiu-jitsu where I'm like, just try it. Just try it. Yeah. Just try it. You're going to love it. Yeah. And I also uh, will hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, do you want to do some questions? Let's do some questions. Let's do some questions. Let's do some questions. questions. Oh wow! Two. Oh man, these are two questions are basically the same. Awesome. Question number one is: Mike gonna wear shorts this summer? Question two is: Is this shaping up to be a short summer? I yes. wore I wore shorts the last couple of days because I've been riding my bike. Yeah. I don't. If I'm not riding my bike, I don't really want to wear them. But oh, it's like how many? How much longer can I wear jeans riding a bike before I've decided I've proven a point? To no one. To no one. To no one. To a, absolutely no one. Again, a point to no one that only hurts that you. That no one cares about. No one thinks No one's like, about- oh, it's so weird that guy's wearing shorts on a bicycle. 
Yeah. This is a short summer in an unofficial way. I'm not making any proclamations. Unlike how you declared it white boy summer? First of all, every summer is white boy summer. That's true. 3,000 in a row. <laughs> yeah, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean is a white boy summer? What are you talking it's about? It's white, boy, it's white boy every season. Uh-huh. And not even in a way where I think we're the best, but it's like, come on. Come you on. know how the world works. Yeah. And it's wrong, but yeah. it is. Look at who the it billionaires are. Huh? Look at who the billionaires are. It's white boy every day. White, it's William Buffett. Warren Buffett. Well, and his brother, William. <laughs> and his twin brother, William. And his twin brother, William. I just think it's really nice that there's an African billionaire. Mm. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I love saying, tell me to go back to Africa. Yeah. It's very funny. And no one can get mad at me about nope. that. I thought it was really funny pointing out to you guys that Dave Matthews was African last night. I had no really idea. Made, really made me laugh. Because there's a video of him. We, watched, we saw a video of him scatting. And I was like, hey, he is African. It is a strange... Uh, I never... I never. I had no idea. Yeah. I don't really like um, like that kind of music, so I don't know anything about it. Yeah. But I think it's bad. Dave Matthews bad. Yeah, I think it's bad and mm, lame. Interesting. Um. So, yeah, it's short summer unofficially. Yeah, sure. Why not? I want... I would like something new. I have my outlier shorts that do not fit me very well yet anymore. Yeah. Um, and now we're like I just those... cut a pair of dickies into shorts like every summer. Mm. And I have those Death Trader shorts. I just wear around the house. I don't want to wear those out. Yeah, and about. those are not like those are not like wearing out shorts. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll figure something out. Yeah, I'm in no. I'm in no rush. I don't think it really matters that I'm much. Stressed out to do it. Um. So glad some. All right. Uh. Would you, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry yourselves, who is Chuck and who is Larry? Did you ever see that fucking movie? Possibly. I don't, I know, I know what it is. They have to gay marry each other for health care? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, because neither of us have it to begin with. Yeah, what are we going to, now we're both sick? Yeah, now we're, now we owe each other money somehow? Yeah, no. So... No, for very obvious reasons. Because we're both losers. Yeah, and also no, because it's a sin. Yeah. Well, it's not a sin to do... No, it is a sin to do gay marriage. It's of course it's a sin. To them, not me. Um. Yeah, I look at that all day. What? I thought it was going to... I was staring at that earlier. Yeah. That book was going to fall over. Nah, not anymore. I fixed it. You fix it. But it's, it's one of those movies that's like, wow, what a weird moment in American history... That was like um, Chasing Amy. Yeah. She's bi? I think so. And he convinces her to be straight. Mr. Jennifer Lopez himself. He convinces her to be straight to be like... Not him? To, to, well, it's bi. I don't remember. Yeah, it's weird. Because it's not like when a, a woman who is bi dates a man who's straight, which is the most beautiful relationship that can happen. Yeah. It, it's it, so awesome. It's, and I love hearing about it. It's not like uh, she is no longer... Or she's forbidden to be attracted to women. They are when they date me. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, if a woman I'm dating is bi, which first of all, I'm like, we got to get get that fixed. We got to get that taken care of. Nip that in the bud. Yeah, and then if she's like, oh, you know, I'm attracted to women. I'm like, cool. And then I'm, I'm like, they're like talking. And I'm like, I'm definitely listening. And I'm not finding the charger for my cattle prod. Mm. Fucking... You have an electric cattle prod. Yeah, I have an electric <laughs> cattle prod. I'm I'm a fucking do I'm doing electric shock therapy to make uh my girlfriend straight. <laughs> it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. And look, we don't love it, but it works. Hey, results are results. Results are results, hey, honey. Oh, all of a sudden it's illegal to get the thing that you want. I don't I yeah, look. I, oh. who, who, what am I supposed lock to just fucking me, go to sleep? Lock me up. Put put me in jail like Hillary Clinton should put be. Put my ass where Hillary Clinton should be. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I'm Hillary Clinton's cellmate because we're uh, both in jail. Oh, where we yeah, should be. I guess I got locked me up. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I can't get locked me up. You can't lock, lock you can't acon me. I'm locked up. Won't let, let me, me out. And then we have uh, another question. This is from Mac. Thank you, Mac. Dude, perfect son or NPC daughter? Oh, do perfect son. Mm-hmm. He'll at least like want to go play catch in the yard or that's something. True. He'll, he'll want to do something. Yeah, he'll yeah. Wanna... Mac has a very strong 
dislike for dislike for and here's Dude the thing. Sons. Dude Perfect is like I don't think it's good. I think there's worse things in the world. I think there are worse things in the world. Some guy who just likes to do little weird activities. I don't fucking care. Yeah, I know. I would NPC love NPC daughter. It's just like I don't know. I want to. I see those NPC. Does he mean like the TikTok NPC guys, or just they're he's like they're like an NPC oh. person? Like, I mean, let's take it the worst way. Because if it's your if you're one of those NPC like TikTok TikTokers. people, that's I the see. I see. I see that one guy. I showed him to you the other yeah. day. The guy who's like in Soho all the time. I'm like, I should assault him on camera. Yeah, I want to beat the living It'd fuck out of him. It'd be so like funny if I assaulted him on camera. I really find I I'm genuinely. Why do people let him do that? Freedom, it could be it could be bad. It could be bad. I uh, think next. Oh fuck! I don't want to like follow him, like on TikTok. No, 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 no. Because then it's like, oh cool, he's live now. I'm like, I should go there and fuck it up. Go there and just fucking run him over on your bike. Yeah. Or some fire. I just start him? doing stand up. <laughs> I start doing a man on the street video with him. Yeah. Hey, what's your, hey, body, what's count? your body count? I do. I wish uh, electric magnetic pulses were real. Like, Dude, yeah. or were like, I had one on me. I just walk up to his phone and just fucking ruin it. I think you just kick the stand over. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny to just give it in my pocket and just yeah. press the button. He's like, oh, it doesn't work no more. You start, you put, you put, you just rub a big magnet on it or something. <laughs> you just fuck it up that way. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, but I find uh, the NPC, and again, this is heavily treaded over topic, but I find it. Abhorrent. I find it yeah, disgusting. Yeah, 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 no. And abhorrent, and just, just such a, a beacon for the depths of humanity. Oh, I got a good one. Mm. You start shining a, re- you start shining a laser pointer into the camera, Ooh. or like a really bright flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stand behind will it. Break it. the camera. I don't care. It yeah. just will fuck everything <laughs> up. And he's like, "Stop doing it." I'm like, no. Why? Oh no! You I'm sorry. Stop. I'm doing something. I'm doing, I'm doing something. my TikTok. Sorry, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing my laser pointer TikTok. <laughs> Have you seen the guy on TikTok? <laughs> like, we'll just he look, he's looking at a parking lot, and someone's like standing or like standing there, and he goes, "Hey, I'm sorry. Do you have the time?" And they go, "Yeah, it's." And he just starts driving off. That's all he does. That's so awesome. He goes into drive through things like I can't read. The, I don't have my glasses, and he's wearing glasses, and he's like, <laughs> "What is the menu? The meal come with?" And they're like, "Well, the meal comes with." And and he just, just drives, drives off. off. That's so That's awesome. All he does. And he's like. He's not like a 22 year old. He's like a 47 year old man. Yeah, that's even better. Where you're like, oh, you're, you would be a serial killer if you didn't have this weird outlet. Yeah. That's kind of like two glasses of milk, please. It's like two, <laughs> two glasses that's, of milk, please. It's so awesome. We don't have any milk. Oh, can I get a Diet Coke? And yeah. <laughs> it's really good. If you haven't seen the two glasses of milk, just look up two glasses of milk. Please. It really got ruined quickly, but yeah. That's how good it is. But the first is. time it can be good. <clears throat> yeah. I um. Oh, we have more questions. Sorry, we have more questions. Yeah. Well, okay, I got a question. What would you do if you saw Doctor Fauci? <laughs> what would I do? Yeah, I'd go Fauci. Yeah, Fauci. Fauci. Italian American. Fauci. 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 Yeah. Okay. Where? What happened with Fauci. him? He was in. Like, he had like a thing going on today. I did see something about. It. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Anytime I see him, I scroll quickly because I don't want to hear. Yeah, bad I don't news. really care. Okay, here's one. Um, he happened to be America's doctor. Yeah. At the time of COVID. It's like the Rudy Giuliani situation. It's the Rudy Giuliani situation. It's like, oh, you He's America's to, cut mayor because of- You happened to be the mayor during 9-11. And you didn't blow up another building. Like, he really- That's all he had to do yeah. was not blow up another I building. I wasn't- on, I did not pilot the plane yeah. on 9-11. Okay. Uh, what live sport- I guess this is for, my, for me and you in, in terms of like- So, Diego, what sporting event, Mike, what concert would you like, attend, like to have attended with a time machine? Like any sporting event, any concert ever. Oh, interesting. Damn. I'd like to have seen Minor Threat at some point. Is there a specific one? There wasn't like a lot of like documentation of like. They're like, because it's like, oh, there's like the famous like Bad Brains at CBGB in 1983. I'd like to have been there for that. That could have been cool. Um, the the really crazy Oasis unplugged. Ooh, that would have been cool. There's yeah. Okay. I 
I was going to. The Metallica concert where he got burned and then it became a riot. Ooh, that's fun. I was going to go with like a, the Jack Dempsey fight in New Jersey that had like 95,000 people. Yeah. But I'm actually going with the Miracle Nice. Yeah. I would love to have been at that game. That would have been fucking crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's definitely my answer. The Miracle on Ice game in 1980 where the American boys beat the Russian men. The Last Waltz. Oh. Those the band concerts at the Fillmore yeah, on Thanksgiving. you can't pick seven things. Yes, I can do whatever the fuck I want. All right. <laughs> uh, Mike and Diego, who are your... Celebrity crush and celebrity you would want to fist fight crush. Oh, interesting. Damn. Celebrity crush is Leah Sadu. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Leah Sadu and Whoever Bill Maher. Whoever gets <laughs> Yeah, I want to fucking, I want to have sex with Bill Maher and I want to beat the shit out of uh, Leah Sadu. Sadu yeah. <laughs> Who's my celebrity crush? Oh, Leah Sadu. That's like such, yeah, I mean, she's so hot. She's unbelievable. And, and. Oh man, what's um Anna de Armas? Yeah. They're they're both tied in my heart. Yeah. Which is between my legs. I'm trying to think who my like celebrity crush is. Who do I like have? You really like Ronan Farrow. I do. I love <laughs> Ronan Farrow. I love Chaz Bono. <laughs> I just love the daughter. I love the child. The child of any celebrity. Of a celebrity, oh, yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, I I do. I want to. I want to go one on one with Mr. Beast. Yeah, I want to fuck Mr. Beast up, That'd dude. Be It'd be so awesome. Just knock him around a little bit. It'd be so easy to. Uh, I, beat I up. would overpower him in such an incredible way. He has nothing. Yeah, and then I'm trying to think of who is like. Yeah, I don't know, man. It, celebrity mm. crush is like an interesting thing. I'm like, I don't care enough about celebrities to be like, that's the one. Like, Leah say do, yeah, but I don't, like, think about her. Yeah, me neither. Okay, then. You're, you're making this thing like a, like I'm worshipping someone. No, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that you, I think no, there I are you. people who They're, do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think that you, but I'm not saying that you. That's beyond crush. Those are people that are obsessed. Yeah. let me see. Uh, Zazzy Beats, I, I have a crush on. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, what's the British woman... Uh, Hannah Waddington. Oh yeah. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> I love an older woman. The uh, the chick from Paramore. Oh man, that picture of her on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Or Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Hachimachi. Yeah, she's Haley Williams. Yeah. Damn, I'm awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, okay, that's a good answer. Yeah, I think. whatever. It's probably Leah Say do. We. B- you could have listened to all take Ar- Ana de Armas. Perfect. So we're straight still. Yeah. Okay, last question. I mean, I talk, I'll talk. i just talk about Monica Bellucci more. Yeah, there you go. Monica Bellucci forever. Um, What horror movie could you survive? Oh. Uh, probably, hmm. probably most of them, because I'm fucking awesome. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you which one I couldn't survive. Quiet Place. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my ass would be oh dead. Oh my god! I would die so quick at a quiet yeah, place. You really wouldn't do well. Um, okay, I so think let's... I think I could annoy Jigsaw enough that he would let me out. Yeah, he'd be like, fucking get out of here. He'd be like, "But you have to stick your hand in the box." I'd be like, "What? Where'd you? Hey, where'd you get the box? How you? Apply? What do you do for a living? Hey, how much money do you have? Why so you, you get like no pussy? And right? why do you? And why you? <laughs> is there a reason why you act like this? Yeah. You're not good at what did you like? What did you try to do yeah, good, yeah. and you couldn't? Like, and now you act like this, ah, and now you're like a weird little freak. About he's like, it. you're not gonna tell anybody. He's like, I don't fucking care. I don't care. Yes, I am. I'm gonna yeah, tell everybody. I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> this little clown freak trying to make put my hand clown. in a box like it was a damn. Have you seen any of those movies? Saw. Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe the first one. I haven't seen any of them. I just have, I just know what happens in the first one because it's such a big deal. Yeah. All right. No. Um, like Freddy or Jason or or are those are like almost impossible in the way that I could like they definitely just never I, die. I could survive Freddy because I don't really remember my dreams, and that's his whole thing. He's in your nightmares. Yeah, but you said remember your dreams. Yeah, but you still dream. Um, maybe, maybe I don't. I don't remember. Okay, I don't register okay, dreams. For, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Yeah. 
so I could survive him. Okay. Um, what does Michael Myers? He just wants to kill Jimmy Lee Curtis, I believe. I ain't getting in his or, way. Or virgins, so we're good. Yeah. Because we have sex with other people. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and Jason, I don't go to summer camp. I don't know anything about Jason. I've only I've seen grown, any of those I'm, fucking movies. I'm grown up. I'm grown up. I don't go to summer camp. I don't go to summer camp. So then we have like, uh, oh, Green Room. That's the closest one. Yeah. I could, they survive. I could survive. There's a jitsu guy in there. Yeah. The Strangers. That's a movie I really like. Yeah. You're just in the house with three people, but yeah, come over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, come right here. Come over here. Yeah. <laughs> come, yeah come here. Come here. Shake, try to shake their hands. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Oh, I want to shake his hand. hand. Yeah, come here. Why don't you just come close to me? The Purge? How would you do it in The Purge, you think? I think I would die, but I think I would get... I would kill people before I died. Oh. Because they're like, all crime is legal. I'm like, I just start shooting people immediately. I'm just jacking off in public. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shoplifting while while uh, fully erect. Yeah. I'm jacking. taking the tags off mattresses like nobody's Dude. business. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing about me during the purge. I would be kind. I would not rewind. Oh, yeah. There you go. I'm not rewinding. The thing about the purge is like, just sit in a bush. Just don't go anywhere. Just hide. Well, no, don't. If you go, like the thing about going in a house is people know they're in the house. So they're going to break into houses. That's kind of a big point of the movie. Yeah. Just sit in a bush. Nobody's looking in bushes for people. I would start being like, Hold on, Ooh. you got to agree with me or disagree. You can't just move past it. I don't think that's a good plan. <laughs> I think Why someone, I think someone <laughs> would find you in a bush pretty quickly. Maybe quicker like- than if you were in a house. <laughs> I think a bush is everything you need. Do you, have a ghillie, do you have a ghillie suit? I have a, I have, of course I have a ghillie suit in a bush. All right. Hey, well. <laughs> um, yeah, the purge would be would be a tough one, unless I'm Ethan Hawke. Yeah, if I had a gun, I think I'd do maybe okay in the purge. Yeah, a gun would be sick. It's dude. just it literally, I'm like, hey, if you come in here, I'm going to shoot you. Like, no questions asked. Yeah. You're getting fucking shot if you enter the house. Because I would do, I would do, I would do like a ghillie suit thing just until I got close enough to someone that had a gun and I disarmed them. I feel like because everyone knows about the purge. Yeah. So you just have a gun. All right. You could buy one. Yeah. You just have a gun. Even, even in and my then, dreams, I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> I would just sit in the living room with a shotgun. Yeah. 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 And if anyone comes anywhere near any door, I'd be like, hey, Everyone in the house, we're sitting in this room till the purge is over. Yeah. Doesn't take that long. We got TV. Twelve hours. Whatever. Whatever. Board up the windows. Which one did we watch together in the movie theater? It was like nine Where's of the us? the first purge? It was fucking fun as shit. Movie pass. Yeah, that was fucking fun as shit. Yeah. There's a character named Diego and everyone wooed and I felt good. Woo! It was, me. It was my name. No one does that when someone's named Mike. It's just too common of a name. Well, I still would like to be involved. You're very involved. There's a, every, almost every movie has a guy named Mike in it. That's not true. <laughs> Three Ten to Yuma, not a guy named Mike in it. <laughs> Three Twelve to Yuma has one. Fuck, I forgot about that one. <laughs> That's coming from the other way. Yeah, it's it's you know there's trains coming coming yeah. coming and going. Heading east, not west. Um, man, we did that. Yeah, I can't believe we we pushed through. Well, guess what? We have a whole other one to do after it's, this. I'm gonna show everybody the time. We have to do another podcast right now. Yeah. Well, everyone, thank you so much well, for supporting us. Thanks enough. Follow uh, Mike Abruzzi at Mike Abruzzi. Follow Diego Lopez at this Diego Lopez. Patreon.com Patreon. backslash a, a little, little time, time pod, pod for four for bonus, bonus episodes, episodes a month. month. Plus a video of all eight episodes a week before everyone else. Yeah. Uh, if you're listening to this, I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Looney Bin. Woo, 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 woo. Tulsa, beautiful city, yeah. full of beautiful people. Salt with- Lake at the end of the month, Gramercy Theater in New York in the middle of June. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whatever, man. Bye. I'm tired. <laughs>